welcome to the course on computer design of electrical machines with the lecture 25 on the topic of design of synchronous electronic machine part 3. We will go with the outline of design of synchronous electronic motor, the parameterization and critical setting of for finite element analysis simulation, then optimization algorithm, case study and references. Coming to design of synchronous electronic motor, that's why the research effort of the last two decades in the field of synchronous electronic machine design. And the recent introduction of a commercial product from major machines manufacturers, a standard procedure for their design is not yet established. So, while the stator is like that of a standard induction machine, the rotor geometry is non conventional and characterized by multiple flux barriers. So, many configurations are possible in terms of number of barriers, their shapes, and dimensions. So, how about the idea that which parameters of machine geometry affect the performance and which do not, uh, which is not required for the desired applications uh, specific design. So, reducing the set of parameters to be selected simplifies the design procedure and makes the adoption of optimization algorithm for the automated design of machine feasibility even if they are coupled with the time consuming finite element analysis. So, here the stator is shown here in the figure with the 24 slot stator and definition of principal stator geometry parameter. <coughs> so, stator is shown in figure clearly. Uh, clarify the definition of a stator parameter. So, for simplicity only a, a quarter of a 24 slot stator is represented. The number of slots play a, a bit critical role among the stator parameter. A higher number of slots geometry improve the average torque, torque ripple and heat dissipation at the expense of more complicated windings and structure we weaker teeth and the windings producing MMF distribution with the high harmonic or even subharmonic content such as fractional slot windings or tooth wound coils are less suited for the synchronous electric machine. So, the best teeth tooth length and width depends on split ratio, lamination quality and the desired saturation level. The tooth length depends on the split ratio x defined as the ratio between the rotor and stator diameter. This parameter is probably the most important for torque optimization machines with t equal to 2 have an optimal x between 0.5 to 6 and 0.65 where the machine with higher pole number will have large rotors x rows up to 0.7 to 0.8. So, finally reducing the slot opening generally improve the air gap flux distribution at the expense of leakage, large leakage fluxes. The rotor design is the most controversial and less standardized point in the design of synchronous electronic machine. So, many configurations are possible in terms of number of barriers their shape and dimension. A badly conditioned rotor design can be easily produced machines with the reasonably average torque but unacceptable torque cable when compared to the similar size standard induction machine. So, one of the former are the most recognized contribution to the rotor design aimed with the reduction of torque ripple as given in by Vagati in synchronous machine of US patent of 1996. Defined by NSNR, the number of equivalent stator and rotor slot per pole where it is suggested by selecting NS minus NR equal to plus minus 4 and avoiding NS minus NR equal to the 0 or 2. So, the rotor barriers should be uniformly distributed at the air gap and have constant permeance. So, the later condition means that if the barrier thickness is constant, the ratio between its thickness and the length should also be kept constant. Then the barrier corresponding to the last couple of rotor slot is the barrier closure to the air gap will be the shorter end inner and this wear barrier could be generally removed from the rotor with little effect on air gap flux distribution and machine permeance performance and unfortunately in the earlier work not on, not many indication are given on the barrier shape and the parameterization regarding the synchronous electronic machine. So, more recent work have introduced similar rotor geometry in which the rotor barriers are comprised of straight segmented or circular parts. These different rotor geometry described with the minimum set of parameters will are considered with the circular geometry, segmented geometry and flux and fluid shaped rotor. And you can see here first you starting with the circular rotor geometry of the barriers construction of the circular barrier. So, simple the simplest choice for the rotor flux barrier geometry is the most likely by use of circular arc. Such arc can share a single center point in order to obtain the flux barrier and the flux wide with the constant thickness as shown here in figure. And this the center point is selected in order to guarantee that the largest circle is orthogonal to the rotor circumference at the end point of each single pole and the highest 
total layer can be defined using an, its angular position at the air gap delta L phi and its thickness HSI. And the angle of the first barrier is defined starting from the middle point of the pole while the other angles are defined as the angular displacement between the two constructive barriers. And this choice is adopted to the use of per unit representation of delta L, L phi angles and the straight forward base value could be the angle corresponding to the half pole I mean, as you can see in the figure. Now coming to the segmental rotor geometry, the definition of segmental rotor geometry can be derived from the circular de definition as shown here in the figure and the barriers and are placed the same position as the circular rotor. You can see here how it looks like a uh, segmented rotor geometry. And the flux barrier thickness, thicknesses are constant and the thickness of the steel flux guide is calculated as if the barriers are first defined circular and then is applied to the segmental geometry. The rotor is drawn starting from the exterior bed that is straight with the thickness HS1 and H semicircular end and the barriers from the second onwards are segmented and drawn in order to guarantee the air and the steel thickness distribution calculated as for the circular rotor. So a minimum iron thickness is guaranteed for all the flux guides and the tangential ribs in order to respect the fabrication tolerances and ensure the structural, structural integrity of the rotor and once the rotor is drawn it is possible to verify the maximum stress value by true centrifugal finite element analysis and computing magnetic stresses in circular and segmented rotor relies using the same barrier position delta L phi and the thickness HSCI, SCI the latter better with distant centrifugal force due to the lower quantity of the iron in the peripheral area of the lamination. So another advantage of segmental rotor geometry is the simple simpler insertion of magnet bricks in the straight parts of the rotor barrier. And coming to now typically the fluid shaped rotor geometry. The figure shows here the result of finite element simulation of a rotor four pole machine with a virtual fluid rotor. A close from expression of the field line inside the rotor can be derived from the conformal mapping theory like how typically flux lines in the virtual solid rotor. So now coming to in this fluid shape rotor geometry, the flux barrier allows independent selection of the thickness of the flux guide and the barriers and the better exploit the rotor iron to maximize the torque production and the tangential ribs connecting the flux guides at the air gap are traced using the two circular segments tan tangent to the barrier side lines and to the rotor external circumference. An example rotor trion using the fluid shape barrier is reported in the given figure. So now coming to non-geometric parameters of in the design of synchronous rotor symbol. In addition to rotor geometric parameter, non-geometric parameters could be considered to simplify motor description and evaluation of its performance. So in particular, the current phase angle uh, gamma in DQ Synchronous coordinate is usually selected in order to obtain the maximum torque per ampere MTTA condition. And when optimization algorithm is used to find the best machine configuration, the current angle value will be optimized together with the geometric parameters. At the end of optimization process, the correct lambda Q will be identified. So, given coming to finite element method, so given the complexity and the computing time limitation, FEM is used to analyze the DQ access magnetic field exciting by DC currents with rotor at a standstill. In order to save the computational time, the magnetic field model of machine is chosen by a two-dimensional neglecting the end leakage and flinging effect. So, employing NCS software for finite element analysis of a two-pole rotor to be investigated. Centrifugal coordinates are used in the student Cartesian coordinate as it is reported typically in the publication by Poldia UN NASA 92. So, here it is a 2 HP. Uh, two uh, motors having a rotor diameter dr equal to 0 0.0.08 0 meter and the air gap d equal to 0.35 millimeter and the uh, ratio of pole span and pole pitch top upon tau is 2 by 3 the ratio of axial limitation and the insulation layers are ptr upon bsr equal to 2 by 1 so due to the geometry of the field distribution for the d and q axis only the half of the pole pitch needs to be considered for d axis i b equal to i c equal to minus of IC that is both condition for three phase. So now the current density in the slot IZ equal to AS IS upon A slot, where S equal to 24 number of turns in slot, A slot equal to 0 
0.704 10 to the power minus 4 meter square cross section area of the stirred slot and i equal to 0.98 ampere in phase a current and for q access field i a equal to 0 and i equal to minus i c equal to 8.185 ampere. So, this is typically the BS curve of material like how it looks like plug density versus ampere conductor per meter for core magnetic material M98 which is considered in fine. So, nonlinear BS curve of the core material is modeled by piecewise fifth order polynomial using the list square curve fitting technique and the core material is the M90 and you can see how the this your final limit grid of ALA uh, rotor synchronous reluctance motor is there with the different arm parameters. The intersection point between the lamination layers and the rotor surface are calculated using the software. A total of 3799 nodal points and 3796 uh, elements are used to yield accurate yield the ratio between the maximum side and the minimum sides will not exceed the 4 or quadrate lateral elements and the ratio between the minimum angles will not exceed the 25 foot angular element. So, for this reason more elements are assigned to the rotor lamination insulation layers and the air gap region. The transition from large transition from large elements in small elements is made through triangular elements otherwise the quadrilateral elements are used throughout the region to reduce the number of elements. And here you can say LA, ALA rotor the synchronous motor finite element is L equal to 0.8 and I equal to 0.8 ampere due to field path of D axis and on the right side DL is synchronous finite element like I equal to 8.185 field path along with the Q axis. So, how in D axis and Q axis plus path are produced. Now, coming to critical setting for an finite element solution. So, even if more some approaches have been proposed to predict the performance of synchronous reluctance machine with analytical formula, the general perception agree that at the certain design stage there is, will be a need for a verification with the finite element software and this is mainly due to the impact of fire and saturation on the behavior of such machine that is unlikely to be represented by mathematical formula simply enough to be practically used and among the finite element software current available finite element methods MMF, is an open source product or built to solve um, magnetostatic problems and is widely used in the field of electrical machine design. So, tangent behavior of the machines is usually approximated with a sequence of static simulations in which the rotor position and current phase angles are modified in order to emulate their actual behavior and this procedure will be hereafter, herein after referred to as a static time stepping. So, air gap mass has a critical role towards the accuracy of the finite element result. So, it is common practice to split the air gap in several concentric parts in order to have parts of the air gap fixed with the stator and another part rotating with the rotor in a static time stepping process. And this procedure forces the massing software to have larger number of the points in the air gap area. As you can see the details of air gap mass for a full reluctance using finite element and web software. And here you can see the definition of geometry and material and the process of exciting the conductor can be done with the script written in the many FEA interface script to perform more advanced and pleasant finite element analysis output like. So, defining the first is the geometry in CAD environment like AutoCAD or in Infotica and then importing from the CAD and defining the material properties and then post processing of finite element analysis. So, in iron saturation plays an essential role and the magnetic characteristic must be precisely known to accurately predict motor performance and for example, the cutting may significantly affect the steel magnetic performance, but manufacturer do not provide data valid for different cutting process. So, in synchronous reluctance machines, some parts of the laminations reach very deep saturation level if the material characteristic is not correct or even unknown or above a certain magnetic field value and the finite element result will depend on the magnetic curve, curve extrapolation criterion that geometry changes with the each specific software. Whenever possible, specific data relevant to the material and to the chosen cutting process should be given by manufacturer or, or purposely measured using lamination samples. So, for example, the super core 10 JNF EX900 from the JFE steel corporation which is a high silicon 
contain magnetic steel is characterized by the manufacture of 2300 ampere per meter uh, and figure reports here the magnetic characteristic of Jn 10 J and EX 900 or at about 3300 ampere per meter the characteristic was exploited following the radiative permeability reduction of standard silicon so here you can see how the magnetism characteristic with the manufacturing data and exploited typically of a this is still about the three thousand and exploited on the basis of similar steel characteristics. So tables show the finite element results obtained using the finite element uh, and informatica magnet for the same machine geometry reported in given figure using the only manufactured data and exploited characteristic. You can just see how the with the different and what is the discrepancy it comes in some cases as a torsible large discrepancy, in some cases it is not a large discrepancy as you can see from the data. Now coming to optimization algorithms, which are, I mean, normally we use in case of the, I mean, design, the optimization algorithm find applications in almost in all engine problems, including electrical machine design and historic population based algorithm represent an effective solution to cope up with complex problem, in particular in the presence of noise in the model process or the measurement of the system performance. So such algorithms have it have in common the use of a set of potential solution population that are iteratively modified according to probabilistic, probabilistic rules based on the performance measurement, usually cost functions or objective functions to be in mind of each solution individually. So, statistic algorithms uh, find the best solution within the search space with a certain degree of, prob of probability and there are, there does not exist any single solution that is the best for any class of such problem and no algorithm can avoid the risk of convergence to suboptimal solution. So, for most practical problems, say this is not a real limit since the user is usually looking for a solution that satisfies the problem requirement and has limited time for the design stage. And typically, the genetic algorithm GAs are probably the most popular class of statistic algorithm and use technique inspired by evolutionary biology such mutation selection and crossover. So, as most stick algorithms, GA start from initial shaping of n t individuals performed randomly within the decision space of D. In the initial population is iteratively modify applying crossover and mutation mathematical operators with a certain degree of probability. So, crossover consists of exchanging parameters between the two individual and the mutation apply in a random chain to one or more parameter of single individual crossover without mutation will not be effective because the search will be limited by to the solution given by the permutation of first population. On the other hand, the an excessive use of mutation will produce a quasi random search that could be too slow in many practical problems. So, stochastic algorithm always have a procedure that tend to follow the most promising solution or look for the solution in explored, unexplored region of the search space. The right balance between the two mechanisms determines the effectiveness of the algorithm, optimization algorithm. So, most users could be discouraged from using an optimization algorithm if they have no to explore, have to explore the combination of large number of parameters before obtaining a reasonable result. So, differential evaluation algorithms represent a good compromise between the simplicity and the effectiveness of a large class of optimization problem. Now, coming to differential evaluation algorithm, the D algorithm is a popular population based statistics algorithm uh, that usually start with random sampling of NP potential solution for in the search space and at iteration or generation for each individual SK out of the NP. The three other individuals. XR, XS and XT are randomly extracted from the population and this implies that at least four different individuals belong to the population. A provisional of his spring X spring is generated by applying the following motivation. X of dash equal to XT plus F into XR minus XS where F belongs to 0 to 2 is a scale factor which controls the length of exploration vector of XR XS and thus determine how the individual XT. Uh, the office spring should be generated. So, after the provisional office spring x dash is generated, the final office spring is calculated by applying a crossover operator and the resulting office spring x of is evaluated and replace xf in the population at the next 
Recession only if the performance values have been improved, otherwise no replacement occurs and the search could be stopped with the performance improvement between the consecutive number of the iteration becomes negligible and or when a predetermined number of the iteration is reached. So, the last criteria could be prematurely stopped and the algorithm but is usually preferred because it allows the prediction of the time needed to end the optimization process. The main parameters are to be set in order to run the differential evaluation algorithm uh, are not our population size, number of allowed iteration, multi mutation factor and the cost over data. Now, coming to multi objective algorithms, most al optimized algorithms have been first introduced as a single objective, but could not be extended to multi objective problem till they introduce the concept of domain. So, let us consi consider to have a problem with the two objective cost 1, cost 2 to minimize the solution A, determine another solution B when the cost of function values associated with A and B are lower than that of equal of those B. So, solution A is non dominated when no other solution in the current population is better than A with respect to the both cost function and this is visible in given figure as a dominated by A. Now, coming to H iteration, it is possible to determine the subset of the non dominated solution to in the current population called Parado front as shown in the figure and solution belonging to this Parado front are equally good. So, the two objective problems and are all ranked in one in the current population. So, among the remaining solutions, it is possible to apply again the concept of domains, determining the second rank Pareto fund, and so on until all the solutions are ranked as solution in figure. At each D algorithm iteration, starting from a population of NP, individual other NP offspring solution are generated by mutation and crossover. In the resulting two NP solutions are ranked according to the Pareto dominance criteria and the best NP solutions are passed to the next iteration. So, you can see how they are ranking the Pareto towards the better, I mean from rank 5 to rank 1. So, now when all the solutions belonging to the same Pareto front do not have room in the next population, they are selected to facilitate solution far from each other according to the crying distance criteria for each solution to the of the Pareto front except the two extreme solution the Manhattan distance a, meet, a meeting in which the distance between the two points is the sum of the absolute difference of the their Cartesian coordinates is calculated concerning the two closest solution in the same front as shown in the typically the figure I mean typically. Now, solution with the higher distance values are preferred in the next iteration to favor solution is spreading along the front and avoiding the and avoid keeping two similar solutions. So, when the stopping criteria is reached, usually the maximum number of iteration is fixed. The first Pareto contains the best solution found for the multi objective function problem. At this stage, the iteration is required requested with the designer that has to select the most adequate solution knowing how much each cost function must be sacrificed to favor the other and the best compromise between the competitive cost functions can only be the human choice. Now, coming to the case study, coming with a automated design of a synchronous electronic machine. So, literature on synchronous electronic machine design includes the different design methodology, optimization algorithm and fine element analysis have been used since the 1990, but suffer intense computational burden. So, however, the design of a synchronous electronic machine cannot provide fine element analysis at certain design stages, even when the design initially based on the analytical model. So, effective use of fine element analysis and multi objective algorithms. MOA in the automated design of synchronous electronic machine is a matter of interest. So, a small synchronous electronic machine for home appliance with the main practical and dimensional parameter given in the table here with the rating of typically 4.5 Newton meter and rated speed of 5000 RPM with the voltage of 270 volt dieseling, continuous current 16.8 ampere P and remaining with the dimension diameter 101 millimeter, rotor diameter 58.6 millimeter, air gap 0.5 millimeter, stack length 65 millimeter, initial slot 24 and steel grade M53065. And you can see the prototype relies from experimental test of rotor uh, for rotor with a different geometry right assembled with the under test. The synchronous reflection machine offers here uh, Stator laminations with the existing induction machine to reduce the manufacturing cost 
instead geometry has a great impact on the motor performance in terms of maximum achievable average torque and power pressure so machine has 24 stator slot and four rotor and four poles so three total flux barriers per pole are per pole are selected in the examples as a recognized good choice with the given stator to reduce the torque pull and simply rotor manufacture ability optimization of rotor geometry consists of a problem with the seven parameters in case of circular or segmented geometry two parameters for each barrier plus the current phase angle and the 10 parameters in case of fluid geometry one more parameter that is barrier offset for each barrier so while coming to choice of objective function one of the critical choices when optimization algorithm are adopted so all engineering problems is the choice of objective function so design problem are always multiple objective as the final choice is a compromise between the contrasting goals that include the performance cost and manufacturability and reducing the multi objective problem to a single objective by introducing a weighted sum of different goals leads to a sub optimal solution so choice of the weight drives the algorithm in a specified direct a specific direction that could be far from optimal on the other hand the multi objective algorithm require an evaluation of the larger number of solutions and lead to parallel fronts that could be difficult to manage when there are more than three objective and in case of synchronous machine design the average torque is the undeniable first choice for the objective and torque pull must be also included among the objective because high torque pulsation is here occur in poor design and this is not acceptable and many other objective are could be considered such as efficiency cost and weight of the active parts of the and also or also the power factor and evaluation of efficiency will require a more challenging operational effort than torque and torque pull due to the evaluation of core losses now in addition the maximization of torque for a given current level implicitly maximize the output power versus the joule's loss ratio with the obvious wide impact on the motor efficiency so the evaluation of core losses becomes critical and should be taken into account only the high, with the high speed machines or with power magnet assisted synchronous reaction machine with the higher harmonic losses and could become significant so other objective could can be considered stator stator geometry and the rotor stator to rotor split ratio now coming to reduction of computational time the evaluation of motor performance along with the mtpa characteristic and the several loads they will, will be very time consuming when the final element simulation must be executed so moreover the current angle allowing mtpa conditions depend on the machine geometry and is not known before so first a single current level could be used for a machine performance evaluation as a general rule of thumb this current level should be greater than or equal to the machine stated current and machines optimize a certain current level tend to have higher torque pull when the current is increased so if the current value is too large the machine saturation level could be very difficult from very different from the rated condition forcing the optimization algorithm to add more iron along with the flux path leading to a suboptimal optimization of the machine in the rated condition for example the current level is selected to be equal to twice the rated current to i and the state of between the continuous torque and the maximum overload conditions 3i this is also warranted a low torque pull at lower load level to evaluate torque pull amplitude and static fe simulations with different rotor position are needed so since the main ripple component is related to stator slotting the n simulations will cover at least one stator slot pitch pst and to note to not to violate the sampling algorithm and should be at least two to h order plus one to construct the torque pull up to the h th order harmonic so additional adding an initial random offset at the n th equally spaced rotor position covering one stator slot pitch allow one on average and over a large number of machines evaluation a correct evaluation of the torque pull using low n values down to five and typically when n equal to 15 samples are taken the torque pull is always correctly evaluated so with the with a low number of samples aliasing occurs and this means that if the n position were fixed during optimization machines with low torque value in the sample position but with the high overall torque pull would have been incorrectly evaluated so you can just see clear torque wave from consisting of a fundamental plus third phase seven harmonics sampled using 15 points so with the introduction of the 
initial random offset the external deviation estimation error could be positive or negative depending on the random offset value on average over the sufficiently large number of months since evaluation the torque pill is correctly evaluated so here it is a torque wave from consisting of fundamental plus third fifth seventh on which sample five points and initial random offset so in population based optimization algorithm solutions tend to crowd to the most promising search area so since each solution is evaluated with the different initial random offset geometries with the poor poor performance will sooner or later be, be correctly evaluated and this will push the optimization algorithm to search for new solution in region of the search space so the evaluation of average torque and torque pull of each machines require only five static finite element analysis simulation that could require a few seconds to be executed on multi core work station using parallel computer and the introduction of the position offset allow a drastic reduction of the computational time but introduce the noise in the measurement of the machine average performance like so then at the end of each optimization run all the solution belonging to parado front need to be reevaluated to ensure that the noise is removed from the performance measurement and among the factors that most heavily affect the total computation cost are the population size and the maximum number of allowed generation or algorithm iteration which are the main settings of each population based optimization algorithm so population size should be at least 10 times the number of parameters to be optimized so number of iterations should be generally larger than the population size to allow a complete convergence of algorithm estimation <coughs> and the time available to solve a given design problem between the choice of executing a reduced number of runs with a higher number of population size and iteration or an higher number of lighter runs later optim options usually more practical and in particular an effective procedure con consists of a execution of a number of light runs typical example four in a wide search space followed by a single last refinement run in which the bounds of the search space are narrowed around most promising solution so former optimization runs are uh, global searches yes while the later refinement run is called local searches and the quality of final result obtained following this gs and ls method is generally better than what is achievable with a single run or with a large population size or increased number of iterations so considering the optimization of a three layer rotor described by the seven parameters six geometry plus the current angle at a, a reasonable population size would be 100 greater than 7 into 10 to be optimized through 150 iteration or greater than 100 so many optimizations runs are executed using 100, 100 into 150 settings and two presented final parado front have been reproduced in the figure so parado front obtained using a 100 individual and 150 iteration so different markers are used for the parado front obtained with the separate optimization run so in addition to this standard procedure the first global search and plus local search method are executed using 50 as the population size and 60 as the maximum number of iteration so for 15 to 60 gs runs are executed and the among the parado fronts are supported in blue a machine is selected from the gs parado front in order to narrow the search bounds and the execute the ls run and the final ls parado front is reported in green uh, in figure the computational cost of the entire gs plus ls plus is similar to that one of each 100 into 150 standard run so here you can see four as a case study four rotors having a each three rotor barriers are purple are designed and three uh, have been realized following the described methodology and the user circular pirc segmental seg or fluid f fluid shape barriers and the fourth is representative of a state of art design soa and is used as the baseline for the performance comparison so you can say for the geometry of circular segmented fluid shape then as a geometry of the rotor of in conventional transformer so figure shows reports the average torque versus the current phase angle at the rotor current amplitude and twice the rotor current the latter was the current value used for the doing the design optimization so at the rotor current the torque performances are very close to each other the torque differences in mtp are below 4% between the fluid and the soa geometry that maximize the torque and the other geometry so at twice the rotor current the iron saturation has a greater impact on the machine performance and the rotor 
geometry that better exploit the available rotor iron have a more evident advantage in terms of maximizable torque and torque differences are almost double at MTPA with the 6% advantage of the road geometry at the best terms of every torque versus the SEG geometry and the SEG geometry has the flux barrier closer to the air gap. The advantage of the flux barrier close to the air gap in SEG geometry with the respect to the centrifugal forces is the high heat operation. The mass of iron to be supported by the tangential lift in the is lower but leaves the quantity of iron not fully exploited between the inner flux barrier and the and the sub. So on the other hand the flux load shape geometry follows the natural path of the flux lines among the rotor iron flux pipe and appears to be the most effective solution for torque maximization with an advantage over the SO rotor. Note that the later rotor is a very tough term of comparison since it was designed using a very high number of degree of freedom by an experienced designer and the torque ripple surface in the IDIQ plane for circular geometry is given here in the figure with the geometry as well as how the your torque ripple is really there for different IDIQ and the torque geometry for IDIQ for the given surface is here for the typically segmented rotor then typically the you know, torque ripple given for the IDIQ plane in case of your fluid shape and then the SOA. Now laminations are, le are laser cut with using M5365 RN. From a comparison of the ripple cut surface, it is evident that the automobile design machines have the mobile lower torque ripple at all current level with respect to the SOA machine. So all the automatically designed machines present a V-shaped ripple surface with the depression in the area of IDIQ plane corresponding to the MTPA trajectory. This is not the case with the SOA design where the ripples flows monotically with the IQ to independent from ID and due to the inclusion of the current phase angle in the vector of optimized variable, all the machines have simulated have been simulated close to the MTV trajectory during the optimization process and the torque ripple is minimized, particularly in that working condition. So simplified rotor geometry called circular, segmental and fluid, uh, although having a reduced number of the degree of freedom per barrier can match every torque performance of a SOA design. So they can also improve the torque ripple due to the optimization, optimized position of the barrier at the air gap. And moreover, the flux, fluid shape geometry further improve the result in terms of average torque. So such results demonstrate the feasibility of only automated time competitive design procedure for this class of machine to the benefit of industrial world. Now coming to education for computer based design, the GUI interface input data procedure is organized into five sections, the main data, number of holes here, number of slots, etc. and straight and rotor geometry that is tooth length and the width, number of number position and the thickness of the rotor barrier, etc. Other options like permitted dual loss, maximum over speed, etc. Winding, filling factor comes in three, coil span, etc. and materials like the straight and rotor material. And this is typically graphical user interface for computer design. So you can give typically geometry and data coming to like a case study 2, a two pole multi barrier line start right assisted synchronous electronic motor with propose for bore well submersible water pump and the issue of ferrite magnetization magnet demagnetization for two pole LS applications are explored a separate cage is avoided by utilizing the rotor flux barriers to the cage thereby reducing the number of trips while housing the magnet and this improves the power factor and efficiency of the motor there is it is taken from the typically from the CNO energy line star to polar systems for the motor. So, here DXS uh, is for DXS and B is for QXS magnetic circuit of inverted U shape two pole line star synchronous electronic motor variation of silence ratio with number of flux barriers the graph. Here it is the formulation optimization problem and result of can form to be I mean for different dimensions and 2D cross section of the four two pole flux barrier. This typically ferret as a line start for a state synchronous photo showing the various design variables. And this is typically 2D demagnetization pole plot of two pole line start ferret as a log photo position with 68 ampere, 130 ampere, 138 and 150 and 150 ampere figure respectively. And this is the torque typically versus torque and stack packer and flux density versus torque of two pole line start ferret as a state synchronous motor geometry in the optimization.
and here steady state torque of initial minimum torque will highest average torque and optimize model for from two and uh, two defined element analysis so here is a prototype of the red assisted typical line start so in this is a two pole line start parade assist equivalent motor with inverted u shape flux barrier is presented the number of flux barriers and their width are selectively chosen to maximize the excellence ratio so further the rotor geometry is optimized for reducing the torque pull and improving the performance parameters so now coming to case study 3 the rotor core is made of a combination of non graded angio silicon steel and non graded steel and the magnetic circuit characteristic of the hybrid synchronous mode improved by taking the super high magnetization characteristic of geo steel along with the rolling this is taken from preliminary design of competitive analysis of new steel customer with the hybrid course as you can see the typical geometry so topology of angios and b rotor core which is and third geo block structure this is the structure of angio typically and rotor core and the torque wave from comparison typically of the two cases hybrid one and this is the flux density issue in angio single flux motor and hybrid single flux motor the typical comparison of ip and emc model typically for the torque and the error in two cases and the equivalent circuit magnetic circuit of the model of synchronous flux motor dss magnetic circuit and the simplified emc model the exam now these are the references from which this matter is considered can refer them and thank you thank you very much